Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more session in prompt engineering that is the summary of types of prompts. So in our previous session uh, we have started the prompt engineering and in that session we have discussed about uh, what is a prompt and how it is important in generative AI. And in that we have discussed like a prompt is an input or an instruction given to the AI model in order to produce the quality output and the quality of output will depends upon how clearly you are giving the instruction. So that means everything will be depending on a prompt which you are giving. So in today's session let us start the types of prompts. So today I will give you the complete overview of the types of prompts. From the next session, we will see each and every category of prompts with a lot of examples, right? Yes. So let us start. Types of prompts. So the first one is a one shot prompt. One shot prompt. So before going to this one shot prompt, the first one is zero shot prompt zero shot prompt so here the shot represents an example so we will be giving the example to the ai model and based upon the example it will analyze how we require the output okay how we require the output so if you are not giving any kind of example so that is called as a zero shot prompt so it is just like q and a okay just like q and a so you are asking some question it was giving some answer from the pre-trained data that's it okay there is no examples we are giving and the second category is one shot prompt one shot prompt so here the name itself indicates one example will be given so one example will be given so that it will be understanding how you require the output so from that understanding it will produce or it will generate the outputs so that is a one shot prompt one example will be given to the ai model and the next one few shot prompts few shot prompt so in this case we are supposed to give multiple examples not restricted to one example multiple examples so here we'll be giving some multiple examples so from those multiple examples it will analyze and it will give the output it will produce the output so that is called as a few short prompt so here the short means giving some example so based upon that example it will uh, give the result so zero short zero example one shot one example few short some multiple examples and the next category is instruction based prompt instruction based prompt so here the name itself indicates we need to give the instruction so the instruction should be very clear so what we required right so what we require must be very clear in terms of instructions okay the instructions will be very clear so here also there will be no examples right next role based prompt role based prompt so here the name itself indicates a role based prompts means so the ai model will be acting as a one role okay so based upon that perspective it will return the results it will produce the results okay so ai model plays a role for example if i want to teach a concept in a programming for example some conditional statements in c programming for the first year students okay those who don't have any knowledge on programming so i can ask 
chat gpt how can we deliver the content like so uh, imagine you are as a computer teacher so the ai model will be acting as a computer teacher and it will suggest the content how to uh, deliver in the class in order to better understanding for the students so in this particular prompt ai model plays a role okay plays a role okay and the next one output format prompt output format prompt means so how we require the output so if i require the output in a table or in a points or in a bullets or in a paragraph so that is the output format prompt so output style it gives the output style like uh, a table bullets paragraph etc so this is a output format prompt next chained prompt chained prompt so that is similar to our demonstrations demonstrations or step by step solutions step by step explanations if you required the step by step explanations then we can go with the chained prompt okay chain to prompt right yes and uh, the next one is context based prompt context based prompt so here we'll be giving the context so in order to get the relevant and accurate sorry sorry relevant and accurate prompts in order to get the re relevant and accurate prompts that is a context based prompt so we'll be giving some context and uh, in that context itself we can get the relevant and accurate data so not the prompt accurate output output okay and the final thing is a hybrid or multi modal prompts multi modal prompts so that means one kind of data to another kind of data the translations okay so translations so simple translations that mean if you can upload an image and you can ask the content of that particular image okay the context of that particular image so image you can upload and you can get the text or if you give some text and you can ask to generate the image so more than one type of data if you are using that we can call it as a hybrid or multi modal prompts okay so if if any prompt consists of all these type of prompts that we call it as a well formed prompts or well structured prompts so why to use all these kind of prompts means as we said that prompt is directly proportional to the quality of the output if the prompt is very clear and specific then automatically the quality of output will be more right so hope you understood this type of prompts in our next session we'll discuss about one uh, one by one in depth with a lot of examples so i'll stop here and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much